You'd like to come take a tour of our new truck camper? My brother just showed up, so the real fun is about to begin. The amount of fabricating that we've had to do to get this thing in here, to get it to set evenly. Here's the other screw. The third time is the charm. I've got to completely redo what I just did. If you value consistency and predictability, don't this lifestyle is not for you. my last video we were still in Texas and in this video we are in Indiana we drove up last week to spend time with my family and it feels really really good to be here it's cooler than it was down in Texas I love my family so spending time with them has been just an absolute blast and being here also gives us the perfect opportunity to start digging into and working on some of the renovations that we want to do to Ashen. Yesterday we took her off of the back of my truck and lowered her down so she's just sitting on pavement right now. going to make it easier for us to get in and out and do any work that we need to do. It also frees up the bed of my truck so that if we need to go anywhere or pick up anything, we'll be able to do that as well. It can kind of feel a little bit overwhelming because there is a lot that we're going to do. By the time it's all said and done, we will have completely renovated this thing from top to bottom. But some of the first things that we need to do have kind of been predetermined for us just because of the fact that this is um, a 20 plus year old rig. It's showing its age pretty significantly in some areas and we need to address them sooner rather than later. The two most significant right now are the fridge which is throwing a check light because the thermocouple in it went bad um, which is just something that happens and the second is the actually the door because we found out when we took it through a car wash a few weeks ago that the window seals need to be redone the door leaks like a sieve um, and it also the fiberglass in the door has bloomed which just means that it's showing its age and you can see the fibers pretty bad so we are going to redo the door and we're going to take the fridge out and replace it with a 12 volt fridge that's also going to have bigger, bigger capacity and be more efficient um, which is really really exciting so those are the two things that we're going to be starting with and then we're going to go from there and see where we're at it is a lot but i'm really happy that i'm here because my family is going to be able to help us with some of this my dad and my brother are going to be able to help stuart get this incredibly heavy bulky fridge out of here rather than it being just stuart and i like it normally would be um, so that's really really exciting and I'm, I'm really happy about that to not be the one that's going to have to be doing all of the heavy lifting um, and we're also just in a, a really good place to be getting all of this done. So kind of all is going to get started today and it's exciting and I'm looking forward to it. Um, but it's also a little bit overwhelming because it's, it's a big project, um, but I'm ready to start digging into it and start making this space feel more and more and more like our home. So welcome to the video. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's time to get our DIY on. <laughs> Would you like to come take a tour of our new truck camper? I thought you were really going to let it go. Come on in. <laughs> we got 
got the door frame removed and most of the hardware pulled off of the fridge so that it should just slide right out. And my brother just showed up, so the real fun is about to begin to try to wrestle this behemoth of a fridge out of this space. It's really, really heartening though, just as a quick aside, to see that all of the wood around the door frame is in really, really good shape. It's not uncommon with RVs. Anytime you do any kind of work, when you pull the door frame off, the wood is just like completely rotted and destroyed. And we have not had that issue anywhere on this thing. Bigfoots, they're just, they're amazing. I don't know if you want me to grab this side, or you can that side. I'm trying. Uh, can we go your way some? Can you take your side, lift up, and yeah, just that way straight and smooth. Oh. Okay. Alright, Andy, you on one side. I'm over here. Get on the other side. Andrew, where are you at? Go back there and get, get ready to get it up here. We won't be able to hold them. Alright, Stuart, let's go down. Yep, yep, yep. No, I mean down this. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a big deal. So we were not 100% sure that the fridge that we wanted to get was going to fit depth and height wise. And so we really needed to take the old one out first so that we could measure this entire space and luckily it will, which makes us really, really happy and means that all of this effort was not for nothing, which the fridge needed to come out anyway. It's, it's just too old and it's worn out and it was ruining our food, so it obviously wasn't a good option, but I do have a giant hole here now and we'll have it for like a week because it's probably gonna take about that long for the new fridge to ship from RecPro, but we know it's gonna fit and it's gonna be a huge upgrade. This was a very, very successful day and I'm so happy that my dad and my brother were able to help Stuart because Stuart and I would have been able to do it. We've done way harder things, but it's just nice to like be able to sit back and let other people kind of step up and help sometimes. It's like, it's a very luxurious feeling. Um, and it went really, really well and everybody's effort was worth the time that it took. So that is where we are at for today. We now have a giant ancient fridge that we need to figure out where to go with but it's all coming along I feel like we're off to a good start I know it's gonna get messier before it gets better but this thing has such good bones so it doesn't feel like a waste of energy which is really really nice Today is a really exciting day because we are going to be installing our new fridge. At first, yesterday when my brother brought it home, we thought that something was horribly wrong because we went to test power and nothing was happening in the fridge and we thought that something with the compressor was messed up or there was some issue with it not getting power like internally, but it turns out it was a relay issue with the outlet that we were trying to plug it into in Atchen. So once we figured that out, um, everything has gone a lot more smoothly. 
we've had to do some fabrication on the space where it's going to be going because the old fridge had a slightly smaller footprint than this newer one but there's still plenty of room it'll fit um, we had to just open everything up a little bit and that's what Stuart's been working on for the majority of the day but we are about 30 minutes away from getting everything in and that's really exciting because once that fridge is in I feel like we can start moving towards getting other things done um, it's kind of felt like we couldn't really do anything because we didn't want to start cleaning everything up and making everything look really pretty if we still needed to be like taking the door off of the door frame and everything else that went into getting the old fridge out and getting the new fridge in so really really excited about having a new fridge and it's so pretty we're gonna have so much more space than we had in the old one I think our old one was like six and a half cubic feet and this one is like ten so it's a good day Whoa, hang on. Oh, sorry, hang I thought you had your hand under there. No. Alright. Coming up. Alright. Uh, it's, it's not going to fit. Really? No. Yeah. Oh, darn it. The door frame has to come off. Alright. The third time is the charm. Oh, that sounds terrible. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Alright. Yeah, just you don't want to turn it on right after you do that. Alright, hang oh, on. Alright, I gotta get the one. Yeah. You got it? I gotta get in here. Alright. You know that little plastic cabinet. What fits right in that little groove? It's got some. I've got to completely redo what I just did. I feel like this might not come across in the video because there have been like other things that just don't get filmed because I can't have the camera rolling like 24 seven, you know, because this video would be hours and hours long. So in the interest of keeping everything concise, a lot of stuff gets cut and or just doesn't get filmed at all between this fridge that we're trying to get moved in and the door that we've had to keep removing so that we can get the fridge in and everything else it's like things that should not take very much time take three times as long as they should and nothing can ever go smoothly nothing can ever be seamless nothing can ever just fit the way that it's supposed to. There's always some fabricating that we have to do in the back end to make things work, always. And inevitably, every single time, it's going to take hours and hours and hours. It's going to get dark, it's going to get cold. We're gonna be trying to do whatever it is that we need to do with flashlights. And this entire space is just a freaking zoo right now. Like, there's stuff everywhere and nothing, nothing is organized, nothing's in its place, nothing's easy to get to. It's all temporary chaos for a good reason, but it feels like it's taking forever. And I am somebody who thrives on my spaces being functional and organized, and n neither of those things apply to this right now. If you value consistency and predictability don't this lifestyle is not for you at all not for you don't do it because you will you will have a tough time and I'm having a tough time <laughs> I don't want to be overly dramatic but I also don't want to just like sugarcoat and gloss over this in the interest of making everything seem like it's hunky-dory all the time because it isn't hunky-dory all the time sometimes it's a flipping shit show it's just a shit show <laughs> I think everything will look better in the morning. I think once I get some sleep and some food and a shower, 
everything will look better, everything will make more sense, everything will seem more doable. That's what I keep telling myself. better than I did last night after I got some food and a shower and sleep things do look a little bit brighter I think I just needed to vent and cry a little bit and then I would feel okay I don't think I realized going into it how jarring this could potentially be to go from living in a completely renovated rig that's all set and ready to go to living in one where we're basically starting over again from zero and especially because when we renovated the travel trailer we were still living in a house so I got to go home every single day to a clean space where I knew where everything was and I could find everything and I don't have that here as much luckily we're at my parents and because they are incredible people we're able to use their house and, and hang out inside and take showers in there and everything so it's not as if we can't get some space from this if we need to but even so it's a lot and I spent some time kind of organizing things today trying to do what I can to just kind of keep the space under control but it's just gonna take time this is a big project and I think I was getting bogged down by thinking about everything that there is to do, I just need to focus on what's in front of me. Which right now is just this fridge, which will be amazing. When we get it in, it's going to give us so much more capacity. It's gonna be a huge improvement on our quality of life. We're just really having to work for it. So, it's gonna be okay. Stuart made me a nice hot cup of coffee. It's a really beautiful fall morning. I'm gonna take this and go inside and spend time with my family and just take things one step at a time because I think that's all I can do. <laughs> Pushing too much on the top. Okay. There. Okay. All right, let me see what we're working on. The amount of fabricating that we've had to do to get this thing in here, to get it to set evenly. It's not for the faint of heart, but I am cautiously optimistic that we are finally rounding the corner. Okay, you ready? Oh no, it's not coming off. No, mine are If we pull from this side, that way. Take the little thing off the ever shell. Now we can leave that. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe we got this thing in here. We got a fridge. It's such a pretty one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like no part of this process was easy. 
every single time that we thought we had it figured out, there was some little thing that threw a wrench in the works, but ultimately we prevailed. And now we have a gorgeous, super efficient, super roomy fridge that is just going to improve our quality of life by leaps and bounds in the long term. So while it was so frustrating at points that I felt like pulling my hair out and scream crying, um, I think it's gonna all be worth it. And I really do like this fridge a lot. So all things considered, I think this is a pretty happy ending. I do wanna say that I think I have maybe not been giving myself enough credit in certain regards, um, particularly because over time as we've been doing this, I have tried to avoid falling into certain traps. Um, and I have avoided really thinking of myself as like a full-time road lifer, particularly in conversations with people, because if you watch a lot of this kind of content, I feel like there are some people who come across maybe not the way that I would want to. Um, it's a bit contrived and a bit um, disingenuous, and I didn't want to do that. But in an effort to avoid that, I feel like I've gone too far the other way and maybe not given myself enough credit. And that night that I had a little bit of a meltdown, Stuart pointed out that there are a lot of people who would never be able to do this. M take on a project like this, much less try to fix anything. I mean, that's just not, it's not a very common mindset. People, when something breaks, they buy a replacement for it or they pay someone to fix it for them. When you're doing something like this, you don't really have that option, um, unless you are just made of money, which we are not. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with admitting that this is a very difficult life sometimes, and that it is not for everyone, and that not everybody can hack it. And that that says something about us, that we have chosen this, and we are able to make a success of it, and we are able to find fulfillment and joy from it. This is something that my friend Chrissy and I have talked about a lot. She's talked about it on her own channel with the like solo female van life thing and a lot of the like just social media hype that comes along with that and the fact that it can start to feel really, really contrived. And I wanted to avoid that and I still want to avoid that. But I also want to give myself credit. Sometimes this life is really freaking hard. Sometimes things don't go well. Sometimes you have really, really bad days where you wonder why am I not just sitting in an apartment somewhere working a boring nine to five and letting someone else deal with all of this stuff? But there's also a, the flip side of that, which is all of the awesome lifestyle things that come with this, the freedom and the adventure and the opportunities to go places and see things that most people don't get to see. And I think that that is obviously what continues to motivate us and keep us going. My bottom line in all of this is that I think I'm gonna start trying to give myself a little bit more credit. This is not a life for everybody, but it is the life for me. That doesn't mean that there aren't bad days, um, but the good days by far outweigh the bad. And as long as they continue to outweigh the bad, it will be a lifestyle that I continue to invest time and energy and emotional <laughs> effort into. I don't know if that all makes sense or not, but that's something I've been thinking about over the last couple of days as we've hit roadblocks and speed bumps and had to adapt to new things. So. Anyway, the fridge is in. I'm really happy about it. I'm looking forward to moving on to the next project and continuing to make this space a home for us. So I hope that you'll come along and um, I hope you're enjoying the journey so far. If you are, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and I hope we'll see you for the next one.